22 to 7 now with the two point conversion. USC over Arizona State. Another look. Well, Smith is right in the area and just reads the eyes of Stephen Threat. Comes up with the play. The real impressive part of the play for Malcolm Smith is rumbling all the way to the end zone. Nice blocks from Darrell Casey. Sharice Wright lead the convoy. And you're going to see coming right across the formation on the two point conversion the quick snap. Mitch Mustaine calls for the two point, and David Osbury comes right across and makes the catch. Really well executed defensively, and then for Mitch Mustaine to bring out that extra point unit and execute the two point play. Good job by USC, really on top of it. And they executed for the fifth time this year, so it shouldn't be any secret that they lead the nation in two point conversions. Well, they tried for a whole bunch in the first three games. Yeah, they did. Missed the majority of them, but certainly put a lot on tape for people to look at. Arizona State should have been ready. Little looks at the two yard line. It's a little gap, and then it's tripped up as he crossed the 25 and down at the 29 yard line. CJ Gable on the stop. Next week, it's a college football Saturday Big 12 doubleheader. First, Daniel Thomas leads Kansas State against Blaine Gabbard and Missouri. Missouri lost today. Kansas State was a winner. Then Texas A&M looking to shut down Robert Griffin and Baylor. Baylor was a loser today. They'll look for a bounce back game. Well, who's going to rise and fall with the Big 12? The action kicking off 1230 Eastern, 930 Pacific. This time to Taylor. Taylor at 35 is cracked. Gain of about six. Sharice Wright on the tackle. Well, for Arizona State, it's all about the pace. They have positive gains. They like to go fast. And here they come again. But the important thing for Stephen Threat is decision making within this pitch. 11 of 36, just 86 yards for Threat so far. And give this time for the first down. Remember, Barry, this was an Arizona State team that had 600 yards of offense against the Oregon Ducks, but the seven turnovers killed their chances in that game. They can really get it going to put up numbers offensively. They have to eliminate mistakes, like Dennis Erickson said before kick. And that's about like 90 snaps in that game, too. Here's a play that has worked consistently, and it's a toss to Taylor. Taylor will pick up about eight. T.J. McDonald on the stop. Now they move the ball, the last possession, up until that interception, which went the other way to the house. They're moving the ball right now. Here's three on a keeper, trying to get to the outside, and he is really hit hard as he got in the 41-yard line. Remember, I told you he came in here with a hip point. He looks like he's in a little pain right now. Well, there was nowhere for three to slide. Michael Morgan was bearing right down on him. And he does look to be moving a little gingerly. Yes, he does. Still clapping, though. Nothing about a tough guy. Three give this time to Marshall. And this time there's nothing good. Steven Threat looking to slide, but Warren Harris right in front of him. Morgan right behind him, and there was just nowhere to go. Took it on both sides. Tough to slide, too, when you're 6'5". Well, I'm sure he didn't want to slide because he does have a hip pointer, so instead he took a shot on the hip. Here's a blitz. Over the middle, a pass incomplete, batted in the air. Fortunately for Arizona State, there was nobody in the area. Marshall Jones really stuck. Trying to get Jarrell Robinson over the middle. That's been a successful play for A-State all season. Quick hitting plays over the middle, but USC has done a great job defending them. Shuffling people in and out now. Third down and nine. Here comes a blitz. Three steps up. Throws. Caught by Taylor. First out of the 20-yard line. Great grab by Taylor. What awareness by Kerry Taylor. Came into the game with 32 receptions. He's been Threat's favorite. 
Tariq throws that ball before Taylor makes his break, so he's got to turn, find the ball, and then really stretch out his body to make the catch. That's a great play by the senior out of Chandler, Arizona. And they picked up the blitz pretty well that time. Tariq throwing out by lookout. First down going to the end zone. Caught and dropped by Robinson. No, caught. He did hang on to it. Looked like he dropped the football, but I'm going to say he held it enough for the score. What an interesting play. Gary Taylor ran a smoke route just stopping at the line of scrimmage, freeing up Robinson to get behind USC's coverage. T.J. McDonald mistimed his jump. Oh, he clearly caught it. I thought the ball came out, but he clearly caught it. Clearly caught it and then kind of dropped it a la Calvin Johnson earlier in the season in the NFL. So if he didn't go down, he had the ball, but very nonchalantly dropped it. Great play. A very good drive. And remember, they were moving the ball the last time before the 76-yard interception return. So just like that, the Sun Devils get right back in the fray. It's a 22-14 game. Great grab. Great drive, we got a game!